Hello, this is a very, very short intro video on the topics of tracking, kerning, and letting. And this is just a very superficial introduction uh, to these topics, but it'll help you with your initial projects, especially with the uh, projects that you're doing with posters and so on. So uh, tracking is adjusting the spacing between three or more characters. And the way I adjust the spacing between three or more characters is I select, you know, whatever it is I want to adjust. And again, I could I could choose like three characters or or a whole line. I could choose an entire sentence. For this one, I'll just choose the word uh, tracking. Now over here on the right in the uh, properties tab is um, the attributes you want to mess around with here <coughs> is indicated with this VA um, and these this horizontal uh, arrow pointing both ways and this is the attribute so if I increase this number the spacing between the characters will increase and if I decrease the number it'll uh, decrease so I'm going to click and increase it and I'll zoom out here so I'm increasing so now the tracking setting is at 80 and that's at 110, right? And then uh, let me go back to zero, which is the default. Now I can, um, if I continue to reduce this number, like I'm at negative 100 now, you know, now the tracking is, uh, or now the characters are all squished together. So that is tracking. Now kerning, which I'll cover later, and when you get into typography, it's, um, an important subject is adjusting the spacing between two and only two characters. So for example, um, a lot of times, especially in titles, in large type, like in titles, like if you have rounded letter forms, a lot of times you'll want to uh, decrease the spacing between them. Kerning is really important, like when you're doing like one page layouts, like with resumes, uh, but it's especially important with things like titles and subheads um, with larger uh, larger point sizes. Anyway, I select the first, um, I select the character on the left, and it's the same attribute, you know, so I'll decrease the kerning here. And you can see that the, the, um, the character on the right is moving in, you know, and I can pull it all the way in here and make a like a pair of glasses or something okay so that's that's kerning um, let me set this back to zero because it bugs me okay now letting um, is the spacing between lines now later in the semester and when you get into typography there's a way to set the letting for an entire paragraph or for an entire document um, I'm not going to cover that here. If you're making like a poster or something, it's just like a one page layout and you have like two lines on your poster and you want to like adjust the spacing between, spacing between the lines on something simple like that, what you do is you select the line and say I want to decrease the spacing between line one and line two. So the attribute over here, you might have guessed already, is this one, which shows the, the vertical double arrow. So um, depends what point size you're using. Th this will always be different depending on what the point size you're using. So I'll decrease the spacing by clicking the down arrow and I'll zoom out. So as I click the down arrow you can see that the um, the letting, the spacing between the lines, um, decreases and I'll increase it. That's the default 36 and I'll keep going. <clears throat> so there, you know, so you get the idea. So that is how you adjust uh, letting, you know, tracking, kerning, and letting in a very simplified format. Again, remember that in InDesign, like all these attributes that we're talking about here, they can be applied to entire documents through other means, through something called paragraph styles, which I'm not going to talk about right now. Um, so let's see. That is about it. All right.